name is Kesper. I'm a board member at the Danish Data Science Community. And I will give you a brief introduction to what the Danish Data Science Community is and what we are doing. DDSC, as we tend to call it, uh, we started as an online community. Uh, we had a LinkedIn group, then we had a Slack community, and uh, recently we became a formal association, that's for Ealing in Danish. And uh, you can sign up to become a member for free on our website. Uh, and in this association, we have three main purposes. Uh, one is to build and strengthen a sense of community uh, among data science practitioners and in related disciplines in Denmark. A second objective is to be present in public debate about data science, uh, for instance, by sharing our collective knowledge. And the third main purpose is to strengthen open source data science. So here in the early stages of our association's life, uh, we, the board, have decided to focus on uh, the, the community aspect to begin with. And this is because we think that by having a strong community where people feel connected to each other and where people have inspiring conversations with each other is the foundation for everything else we want DDSC to be. But um, this, our, the board's focus on this community aspect doesn't mean that you guys can't do whatever you guys want to do uh, in DDC and I'll tell you a little more about that later. So what's going on in DDC at the moment? Um, well, DDC is involved in a research project with Aarhus University uh, nicknamed Foundation Models, which aims to build uh, open source, uh, state-of-the-art foundational Danish language models that have been checked for bias and that are thoroughly documented. Uh, Kenneth Enevoldsen, uh, one of the researchers from, from Aarhus University and a member of the Danish data science community, uh, told me before this presentation that he, did, he doesn't think that that research project would ever have seen the light of day had it not been for DDSC and the conversations that have been happening uh, within DDSC. So that's a really great example of what we can achieve when we connect people within the data science field. We also currently launched, uh, recently launched the results of our uh, data science salary survey in an interactive dashboard on our website. You can go check this out uh, and see if your salary matches up to that of uh, the average salary of people like you. Uh, this is on our website called ddsc.io. We also have a GitHub repo that we call Sustainable Data Science, which contains a collection of resources that will help you as a researcher or as a practitioner measure and reduce the carbon footprint of your data science work. Go check out this, this uh, repo and make a pull request or uh, create an issue if you want to contribute. There's also a lot of website development going on, led by Jonas Hø, who's also a board member at the Danish Data Science Community. If you want to get involved with this, come join the Slack channel called DDSC Website. And finally, we have recently obtained a CVR number and will soon have a bank account so we can handle all the donations that you guys are going to <laughs> um, Okay, let's now consider what's on the horizon for DDSC. First of all, it's more events. Next week, we have a casual meetup in Aalborg, so if you happen to be in the northern Jutland next week, come by. Uh, on the horizon is also more work in the sustainable data science area. Um, if you want to contribute or just follow along, come join the Slack channel called Sustainable Data Science. We will also be developing some custom LUST functions that we will make available uh, in our GitHub organization. If you want to come and uh, join on this work, uh, find the repo and start it and uh, you'll be notified of what's going on. Uh, we also want to do some work within diversity in the data science field. Stay tuned for more information about this. And uh, finally, we have some really exciting open source stuff uh, coming up that we can't yet uh, disclose, but stay tuned. Finally, I, I want to say a few words about the vision for DDSC. 
We want uh, the Danish data science community to be a self-sustaining community. And what does that mean? Well, it means that we envision a world where DDC events and projects arise on their own, where members get together and do interesting things on their own volition, and where the DDC board uh, is not the initiator of, of things. So all of this means that you can consider DDC a platform for realizing your ambitions. So if there's a, an event with a specific topic that you really want to organize or some kind of project you really want to carry out, you can use DDC to, to realize this ambition. You can, for instance, use DDC to team up with other people. You can uh, use our Slack to organize your work. You can put your repo on our GitHub uh, to obtain more visibility. And you can uh, promote your work through our Slack, through our LinkedIn group, and through our company page, where we have a bit more than a thousand followers. So it's a great platform to get exposure if there's something that you're passionate about. So in short, take advantage of this great community that we have. In a sense, you could say that we as a community have succeeded when we, the board, don't need to do any other work than the boring clerical administrative work. Mm -hmm. We hope that you want to help us make this happen. Thank you.